Hey guys, it's Gigi, and I'm here to talk to you about a really cool tool called Storify. And if you don't know what Storify is, it's a great way for you to curate uh, your favorite blog posts, videos, pictures, news stories on the social web, package them up in a really nice um, package, and distribute them out to your followers on Facebook and Twitter. It's a really neat little tool. Not a lot of people are using it yet, and I think it's going to be um, a really neat thing. So I played around with it today, did a quick tutorial, and I want you to have a look. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to show you Storify. What you're going to need to do to start uh, working with Storify is sign in with Twitter. Very easy, like most of the tools we feature here. I already have my application authorized, and so I have already logged into Storify, and this is the main screen when you get into the Storify application. The first thing you're going to want to do is edit your profile, and that's going to allow you to have your Twitter profile display here. You can follow people, which I haven't done yet, um, and set up some other various settings. But that's really not what I want to focus on in this tutorial. I want to show you how to create a story. And it's really easy to do. So let's say that I want to feature some of my favorite bloggers in a story of the best posts this week that I've read um, in social media. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on create story right here. And what Storify is going to let you do is pull content from various places on the social web. Twitter, RSS feeds, a direct link, Facebook, Flickr, YouTube, uh, Storify sources, as well as Google. And so I pre-identified for the purposes of this video which blogs I'm going to feature in this particular story, just to make it quick and easy. So I'm going to use the embed link, which is right here. And um, I've already got one of my posts in here pre-populated because I was working on a different story. But let's say I don't want to use my own posts. I want to use some of my friends' posts. I really liked um, Nicole's post over on Babbel today about infertility, where do you draw the line? So I'm going to take her URL off of Babbel. I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it into this URL embedder, embedder. And voila, here is Nicole's post with an image. If I want to add this to my story, I basically drag it over here, and now it's part of the story. I also decided I wanted Sherry from Old Tweener's post today about um, her son's, one of her son's favorite teachers passing away this week and how she's trying to help him through dealing with grief. So I've copy and pasted that URL as well. I'm going to put it in here into Storify. And here is Sherry's post. She didn't have an image in that post, I don't think, and so her profile picture is showing up instead. Finally, I really liked um, Shell over at Things I Can't Say. I liked her post about school dress codes for parents, and I'm going to go ahead and add that to my story as well. And there it is. I'm going to drag that over as well. So now I've got three stories or three posts in my story. And you can do these around a theme. You can just have them be your favorites. Uh, maybe you want to curate the best three food recipes you read this week and put them all into a nice little package. Um, you can really get creative with this, so it's really neat. You also want to title your story. And I'm going to call this um, Quidgy Mom's Favorite posts this week. Come read posts by It's Moments, Old Tweener, and Shell Things. I think of them as their Twitter handles usually. So that is my story. And what I can do with this now is I can keep it as a draft by clicking up here, or I can click Preview, which is what I'm going to do. And this is how it displays when someone cl clicks on your Storify link. It's got your title, it's got who curated the content, which is me, Storify by Gigi. It's got social sharing buttons, 
you can embed this story into a blog post or your website if you like somebody else's story that they've curated. And then it's got the post down below. You're also able to tweet the individual story within the individual post within the story by clicking on these little Twitter icons next to each blog post. So this would allow me to individually tweet out Nicole's post, but I don't want to do that right just yet. I think that this looks really good. I'm not going to do any more editing to it. Now if I choose to, I can go ahead and publish it. If I click on the publish button, it is going to automatically publish this story with a shortened link to wherever I have indicated I want to auto publish. And you can do that in your settings. So if you go back up in here to your settings and go to sources, this shows you all the sources from which you can draw content. But this publishing button then will let you publish automatically to certain social sites. Um, Posterous, Tumblr, your WordPress blog, which I don't have configured yet, and Twitter and Facebook. And I'm thinking that this is going to be a really nice way for me to add content to my Facebook pan fan page because I tend to neglect it um, and not really do anything with my Facebook fan page. So this is a great way for me to add additional content there. And of course, I always love retweeting people's posts. I think it's a great way to support them. And so I have my account configured right now to auto publish this story to both Facebook and Twitter. So I'm going to go back to the story by clicking on my stories. And here is Kluji Mom's favorite post this week. I'm going to click back into that and I'm going to hit publish right up here. Great story. Now it's time to spread the word. I can post this on my site. I can notify the people I quoted or I can send a link or message. If I want to notify these people, I can send them a tweet. Um, but it's saying there's no one to ping back. I'm not sure why that's not working properly. But if we go over to TweetDeck, let me see if this is already auto posted. I don't know how quickly these actually did. Yep, it sure did. So here is my timeline. Here is Kluji Mom's favorite post this week with the link. And I click on that. And there's the story. Now I can go over to my Facebook page. Let's refresh this and see if it posted to Facebook yet. No, it didn't. It didn't post to Facebook yet, but it will shortly as soon as Facebook gets its act together. Um, so this is how you use Storify. There's lots of ways to play around with it. I think it's a really neat tool. I think I'm going to start using it as a way to um, really give shouts out to my favorite bloggers, my favorite writers, videos I like, and doing it in a really nicely packaged way instead of just sending out retweets all day long. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. I hope the tutorial was helpful and we will see you next time.